Hi, my name is Brian LeBlanc and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawk Ridge Systems. Today we're going to be looking at a superfluous SOLIDWORKS stunt on how to create a drawing very quickly. Okay, I have part of a U-joint here. We're going to go up to make drawing from part or assembly, utilize a template that I've set up, and I'm all done. There it is. I just need to rearrange a few dimensions and just make sure they're all there, but I'm pretty much set up, right? I got all my dimensions here already, all my views, any notes, linking to properties in the file properties for the part that I pulled in, and I'm pretty much set. So if we want to see how we could recreate this, let me show you how. I'm going to open up some sort of template, and it doesn't have to be this setup yet, but you can just rearrange anything you want, add notes, because usually you'll have common notes that you'll want to put into every drawing. You also want to link to some of the metadata. If I go to edit the sheet format, Here's the note we saw linking to the file name. Let's recreate that. So I'll just delete it out because we want to show it here, right? Link to property. And there's a few different options about what we can link to. Let's link to the model that we drop in specified in the sheet properties. And I want to link to the file name. So now it's going to pull in the file name of the part or assembly that I drop into the sheet. We can also link to other things, like materials, weights, who's drawn this document, the date, etc. Okay, let me now put in some predefined views. So I'm going to say, all right, I'll drop in what will be my front view. Let's also project what will eventually be a top view, a right view, a bottom view, and an isometric view. And let's change the isometric view so it's got some coloring. We'll make it shaded with edges. We'll reposition these around. We just have to visualize what the model will look like uh, because these are just placeholders right now. So if we're always using these standard views, maybe we could set these up beforehand and save us a little bit of time. Last thing we want to do before we look at the options is let's go to the sheet properties. Let's change the initial sheet scaling one to one. And now let's play with the document properties. So anything we change here will also be housed in the document template. So I want to make sure the units are right to the correct decimal place. And then let's say, okay, every insert that I, uh, every view that I insert, let's bring in the center marks and the dimensions mark for the drawing. So we're set up. Let's save this. Save as a drawing template. And I'll put them in the default location for now. And I'll call this a quick drawing. Okay, so it's in the default location. If you put it in your own folder somewhere else on your hard drive, you just need to specify it here in the system option file location document template area. So let's recreate the drawing. And the advantage of specifying in the document templates about where this is, is now when I go to make drawing from part, it should be in one of these tabs. So here's our quick drawing that we just made, the template. Let's reinsert that U joint and we're all set. All right, so where do these dimensions come from? Well, they come from when you actually modeled the part. So here they all are. So it's a great idea to think about your design intent from the very early stages of your part design, because then you can leverage some of that work import those dimensions right into the drawing and save yourself even more time. So why is this a superfluous SOLIDWORKS stunt? Well, it's not going to work for all your parts. Can't really contain section views, detail views, or similar uh, in a document template, but at least this gives you a great head start on your drawings. Right? So anytime you can save a little bit of time here and there, it all adds up eventually. So that's great. Okay, so today we looked at how to make a drawing very quickly, utilizing a document template. Thanks for watching.